chicken. So roomies, go get your plates, grab your food, and come sit down to eat with me. And while you're at it, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you can get future notifications every time the roommates drop a new video. Enjoy watching, y'all. Now let's eat. Hey roomies, how you doing? If you're new, welcome. And if you've been here for a while, you know it's time for the countdown. Three, two, one, go. So let me introduce you guys what I'm having. I got pasta salad. I got mashed potatoes with gravy, potato wedges, fried chicken, and Hawaiian rolls. I got this today at Jewel in the hot, where the hot food is. They got really good deals there. So if you guys haven't been to Jewel, go ahead and check them out. They got good deals on their chicken dinners. I uh, forgot to say Happy New Year! We're about to be in 2020. I cannot believe it. That tomorrow is a new year. I cannot believe that this year I'm going to be 30. I'm shocked. Like, where did the time go? So, roomies, what's your uh, New Year's Eve resolutions? I know for my resolution, Since I'm going to be 30 this summer, my resolution is to drop the last 30 pounds. So on days I don't do videos, I'm be at the gym working it out. Like for example, today, I don't know what it was about today. I think I was just excited because it's a holiday. But I was more motivated today than, than usual. Like I was working hard today. Like, a, like as if I had caffeine. When really I didn't have no caffeine. I just had 10 hours of sleep. It's amazing how much extra sleep will do for your body. Let me show you guys how good these mashed potatoes look. Look at that. Like today, me and the roommates were at the gym for like two hours. They had their, uh, Junior and Keisha had their training sessions. And so I pretty much used that time to do my own little training session I made up today. Like my first 20 minutes I did cardio and the rest of the time I was working legs, butt, and the second hour I was doing arms and chest. I was trying to give myself a total body workout. After we left, after we got done in the gym, my legs were sore. They were just on fire. I was pretty much, for the first hour, I was practically limping. It 
it took me like two hours of walking around because we had went to like two or three different stores it took me like at least an hour walking around until my legs got back to normal because what I did today I had a rec I had a record today on the uh, on the leg press instead of doing it at one weight and doing like four reps of 20 like I normally would I did I did one rep after 20 times doing that one rep I brought it up and then just kept bringing it up until it hit 200 by the time I got to 200 I was on my last rep so I'm thinking to myself I'm thinking I'm gonna do it real strong at the end I cannot believe it. I did like 20 times on 200 and normally the last time I was at the gym I couldn't even do like past one like tw 200 was my max so me and the roommates we did a lot of running around today since it's New Year's Eve we did all uh, after we left the gym we went to uh, where we go to? I'm trying to remember. I'm having a brain fart over here. We went to Jewel, then we went to Whole Foods, then we went to Pete's. How disappointing we went to Pete's. Because normally, every time I go there, I look forward to going there. Cause they'd be having them, uh, them free sample cookies. They didn't have them today. I don't. You guys, this chicken is so good, I don't have to even dip it in nothing. They just knew what they were doing. absolutely love New Year's Eve because everybody knows New Year's Eve is like a drinking holiday. Last year for New Year's I was good and drunk. But when I was younger, I had a lot more of a tolerance for liquor than I do now. Like, for example, at like 16, I can do like 10 shots of vodka and just chase it down with Sprite. And it wouldn't kick in. Like, I would not throw up until like three hours later. But I knew I was drunk. Because if I had to lift anything down any stairs, I had to do everything slower than usual. Because if you try to do anything fast while you're drunk, you'll either pass out or you'll throw up.
Now with me, I'm more of a lightweight. Like, uh... Like, what hard liquor, I get drunk off of, like, two, maybe three drinks. And by the third one, I gotta stop. Because if I go past three, I'm throwing up. Like for example, me and the roommates, we went to go visit our subscriber, uh, Skylark Birdo, for his birthday, and this was last summer. And I had an embarrassing moment. There was this girl, and uh, she kept handing me shot after shot after shot. And I just kept taking that because it was like jello shots or it was like them uh them fruity drinks. I think it was like some fruity type of vodka. I don't <clears throat> at the time I didn't want to say no because I didn't want to look like lame. So I wanted to drink along with her. But after about an hour and a half of us drinking together, she decides she's going to go home because she's already tired. Let me tell you, by that hour and a half, I was so drunk I was stumbling. I don't even know how many drinks I had. It was like countless. I was stumbling on my way to the bathroom. But when I got up off my chair, I felt like my head was spinning, so. So I go to the bathroom. And I just thought I was going to the bathroom, just you go to the bathroom. But all of a sudden, I felt like I had to sit down, so I sat on the floor. And that's what happened. Man, let me tell you, I was hugging that toilet for an hour and a half. Talk about your white girl wasted. But not only was I drinking a lot, I was also eating a lot. Because I don't know what it is. But when I drink, I get more of the munchies when I drink than I do when I smoke weed. That is because when I drink, I have this feeling in my stomach. But I feel like if I drink on an empty stomach, I have like this weird feeling. So it's like I feel like I have to eat something right after. Well, roomies, I'm done, as you can tell. I'm full. I had a lot of fun eating and talking with you guys. I hope you all enjoy your New Year's and have an extra drink. Think of me when you're doing it. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you can get future notifications every time the roommates drop a new video. Thank you all for watching. Peace out, y'all. We love you. Remember to live, love, and laugh. Bye, y'all.